Uyjenchi is another beautiful day here in London, currently 30 degrees. Uh, for those of you that don't think us people in London see the light of day, well, you are pretty much right, but every now and again, we do get a lovely bit of nice weather. Now, you guys have obviously picked on this video today because you are thinking about going to Brazil or you're going to be traveling to Brazil. Now, thankfully, I've managed to spend a lot of time over there. I've spent about 90 days in Brazil so far, uh, all broken up, of course. So long story short, I met my now wife in uh, London. We were both students at the time, but then her student visa ran out. So she had to go back to Brazil, which is the reason why I went to Brazil as many times as I did. Thankfully, she's now back in London living with me, which is all great. Anyway, back on topic. So when I went to Brazil, I spent a lot of time up in the north in Isipi, and I went down to the south as well. We stopped over in Rio de Janeiro, we went to Sao Paulo, we went to Porto Alegre, and we also went to Gramado. Now, I'm going to tell you my experience. I'm going to tell you what you need to do before you go to Brazil, what you should do when you're traveling to Brazil, and some of the great things that you need to check out when you do get there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some quick photographs before we start, and then we'll start with the basics. Every single day. Right guys, so let's talk about the basics. The first thing that you need to sort out before you book any flights, do anything, is make sure that your passport is in date and you've got six months left on it. You need to make sure that you've got enough empty pages in there so border control can stamp your passport. Obviously, if you're lucky enough to have it filled up, then good for you, but essential. Make sure your passport's intact, it's valid, it's in date, and you've got six months left on your passport. I would recommend having at least eight months left on there before you go traveling, just in case. The next thing is flight. Now, when I go to Brazil, I'll always check on secondary websites such as Skyscanner, um, cheapflights.com, because you'll always find them cheaper than what's on the actual airline's website. For example, whenever I go to Brazil, I'll use TAP or Air Europa. One, TAP is the Portuguese airline, Air Europa is a Spanish airline, but they are both as good as each other. I just have a preference to Air Europa. So when you get your airline tickets, why do I go on Skyscanner? Number one, they are cheaper. However, if you need to cancel your flight for any reason, Going through someone like Skyscanner will make it very difficult to change your flights, um, cancel your flights, because they'll always add their uh, administration fee to it. So through Skyscanner, there's lots of travel agencies. You'll book through them. They'll book your flight through TAP. So basically, if you want to change or cancel, you'll have to pay that middleman, um, middle lady, whatever, to change your flight. So if you want to have safety, then yes, book with the airline so the next thing is pre-planning so what do i mean by pre-planning well i mean pre-plan everything that you want to do before you go to brazil guys as soon as you land down there i can guarantee you nobody is going to talk english okay and unless you can talk portuguese very well or you can talk a bit of spanish then you're going to land in the airport and you're going to get nowhere because I'm telling you the truth, nobody will be interested in helping you and there's probably going to be no English speaking people at the airport. And what you don't want to do is land in whatever airport you go to in Brazil. I mean, maybe if you go down to the south, you might be luckier, but if you go to the north, you might as well give up. But what you don't want to do is spend 13 hours flying, land in Brazil and then go 
right, what do I do? Where's my taxi? Where do I go? What do I do? I am totally lost. So make sure that you've pre-planned your hotels, you've booked the hotel, you've booked the taxi to pick you up from the hotel, you've booked the activities that you want to do. How are you going to get to those activities? Are you going to use an Uber? Are you going to use a taxi? Make sure you've thought about all these things before you go to Brazil, okay? So what I made a mistake of is three months before you go to Brazil, if you live in the UK, you need to get uh, vaccinations, you need to get jabs, you need to get two. And they advise you to always get them done three months before you travel, because if you get them through the NHS, your vaccinations will be free. The absolute minimum is you need to get them 10 days before, but there's not a hope, there's not a chance that you're gonna get your vaccinations done within 10 days through the NHS. So it's really important that you get them done within three months. So book with the NHS as soon as possible. If you're like me and you leave everything to the last minute, I actually left mine 10 days before I was due to depart, which was ridiculous. I couldn't get my vaccinations done through the NHS, they were fully booked. So I had to go to a chemist, get it done privately, and for two injections, which was yellow fever and typhoid, cost me around 185 pounds, which was my spending money for my holiday. It wasn't all of my spending money, of course, but it was part of it, and I'd rather keep that money in my pocket, especially knowing I could have got the jabs for free. So talking about travel money, you need to make sure that you take a nice amount of travel money with you and take it in cash. Don't take your cards because, I mean, take a card, take it as a backup. But places in Brazil, in my experience, that they didn't really have card machines, that they're not like England where you've got Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, contactless chip and pin they are very traditional they like cash so in my opinion take your cash okay guys great so let's say you've booked your flight tickets you've done all your pre-planning and your holiday starts today you go to the airport you leave yourself enough time to check in relax chill out for a bit and you're getting prepared to go onto the flight well before you do any of that make sure that one you've got your phone off course two an iPad if you have one. Three, make sure you've got an iPhone stand so you can prop up your phone on the, um, what do you call it, the trays on the airplane so your phone doesn't keep falling down all the time, which happens to me when I didn't have the phone stand. Make sure you've got a phone battery pack. You don't want your phone dying. It's extremely annoying and on most planes they don't have the facility to charge your phone on the plane, especially if you're going with a Europa or uh, TAP Air Portugal, they didn't have USB ports on the planes when I went and just make sure you've got everything that you think you would need before you leave, stuff that makes your life comfy. When you have your headphones for example, I've got the Apple AirPods, but you can't use the AirPods on the aeroplane, or sorry, you can't use the AirPods to look at movies on the aeroplane because they're Bluetooth. So make sure you take some good quality headphones which either have the 3.5mm headphone jack or if you have the Sony headphones, then they have the adapter with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to plug in and you can both watch your mobile or you can both watch the on-plane on entertainment with good quality audio. Just make sure you take what you need and make your life comfy. So anyway, let's say you land in Brazil, everything's planned, you've got your passport done, you've got your little visa. When you land, they'll give you a little piece of paper that you've just got to fill out, a little declaration. Um, it just says, I declare I don't have guns on me or something like that. Um, just make sure you've got everything with you. You go to Brazil, it's all planned, it's all sorted. I can guarantee you, if you've done it right, it will be amazing. Now, if you have any questions when you land or not when you land, but if you have any questions when you're in the planning stage and you're like, oh, well, I'm not quite sure how to do this or how to do that, then leave me a comment down below. I'll try and respond to you. But like I said before, as long as you've planned everything before you go, everything will be fine. Just make sure you've got your injections. Just make sure you've got your passport, your flight tickets, of course, and just make sure that you've got people on the other side waiting for you. Make sure you've got the taxi waiting for you. 
make sure that your hotel reservations are all booked. And then as soon as you get there, as soon as you're in your lovely, beautiful hotel in Brazil, if you haven't had time, which is you know, ridiculous, but if you haven't had time to book any activities, you then go to the hotel, relax and chill. And then the next day, just open up your laptop, look at some activities and then go from there. Guys, you'll have a great time. Book flights to Brazil. If you don't like it, if you do, well, send some photos over, put them on Instagram and tag us on it. Guys, see you in the next one.